Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back, and if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm making a really cute Halloween, like boho style tumbler, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a 20 ounce skinny tumbler that I got from the Stainless Depot that I went ahead and I cleaned and prepped and sanded and then spray painted with Orange Slice from Color Shot Spray Paints. And I'm just going in with my glitter glue and putting a nice thick coat on there so that I can go ahead and apply my glitter coat. I mixed this glitter mixture together last year, but I used from Peachy Olive Glitters, I used Halo, Sunny D, Harvest, and Gryffindor 2.0. And from Chase Ray Creations, I used a lot of Sherbert. I do not have a discount code for Peachy Olive Glitters yet, but I do have a discount code for Chase Ray Creations. So if you want to get some of her amazing glitters, it is LBC15 will get you 15% off. Just going in and covering all the glitter glue with the glitter. Um, I don't have a ton of it anymore. I, I used it on a couple tumblers last year and I definitely need to mix up some more. So it's going to take me a few minutes to get it fully covered, but I want to make sure that I have all of the glitter glue covered so none of it sticks to the tumbler. If you haven't done so yet, come join my Lily Bean Crafters Community Facebook group. It's a new group that I've put together where we're going to start talking about things, all things resin, glitter, tumblers, and just generally just chatting with people that are like-minded. And once I have it all coated, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of parchment paper and just press down all of the glitters because it does have some chunky pieces in there. And I just want to make sure that once I go to epoxy it, it doesn't take a lot of coats. And I am going to go in with my glitter glue after that is dried after about three hours and put on my glitter glue and let that dry and have it sealed after about three hours. I'm going to go in with my first coat of epoxy. Here I am going in with 20 mLs of my Flynn Sisters Fast Set Epoxy. And I'm just going to go ahead and coat this really well, pop the bubbles, and then let it cure for about three hours. And then I'm going to go in with another coat right away of 10 mLs of my Fast Set Epoxy. Let that go for roughly about four hours. I want to make sure it's completely dry for me to go ahead and start applying the vinyl. The vinyl that I'm using I got from 311 Co. And I do have a discount code for them. I'll link it in the description. And what I did was I bought this um, template from Danielle... Spencer vinyl and I bought that so that I could make a really cute drip. I just love the way that it looked. So I went ahead and I cut out on my Cricut the dimensions that I needed to make the tumbler look the way that I wanted it to look. So here I am just kind of going in using the hinge method and I'm going to apply the vinyl right to the tumbler. And I love this vinyl because it is removable. So if you have any problems with it, you can go ahead and peel it up really carefully. One of the things I did realize pretty early on with applying the vinyl is that you do not want to use your squeegee when you're applying the drips because it will cut into it. So you just want to very carefully apply it by hand. I do believe I have it recorded here a little bit of me trying to use it like I normally do with the squeegee and I had to stop and just very gently apply each little drip by hand. I wanted to put some kind of phrasing on here and wasn't sure what to do. And I just thought putting the word boo was just super cute. And because the vinyl is a boho style, I decided to do it in the um, font keep on trucking because that just totally went with the theme of the rest of the tumbler. So I'll go ahead and link where I got that um, font from as well. 
love the fact that I did it, the, the word boot in an offset, it just added just a little bit more dimension to it because there's really not a lot that goes along with this tumbler. It's pretty simple to put together. So I thought that it turned out really cute. And this template that I got also comes with an offset. So I just went ahead and I measured it to the same dimensions as the vinyl. And I went ahead and cut it out. And I'm just going to use my transfer tape to apply it. I ran into all kinds of trouble with it. I don't know where I went wrong, but it's going to, this is probably what took me the longest time with the entire tumbler. And I didn't want to cut it up too much. I wanted to show you kind of how I did it. Um, I was able to, to still make it all work, but it, it, it took a few minutes. I lined it up good. It, it was going good. It, it's going to, for more than half of it, is going to lay down exactly where I want it to be. And then all of a sudden it cut short and I just decided to peel it off of the transfer tape and just apply the skinny lines all the way around onto here. Because it's so thin, it was really easy to manipulate and get it to go where I wanted on the tumbler. It just took a little bit of patience.
we're good. It's all good. And the great thing is, is I was able to do all of the vinyl on one step. The vinyl, the offset, the wording, the offset for that, all of it went on to the same layer. And here I am going in with 10 mLs of my Flint Sisters Facet Epoxy. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that really well, pop my bubbles, let that go for about four hours, and then I'm gonna sand it down really good and then go in with another 10 mLs of my regular medium viscosity um, Artist Cure from Flint Sisters, and that's what gives it that beautiful shine. And I let that go for eight to 10 hours and then it was ready. Here it is, it is so shiny and it, it's stunning to look at. And I love the way that it turned out. I love Halloween. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see everybody again next week. Bye-bye.